Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Loves Data. In this video, we'll cover conversion tracking for Google Ads. We'll walk through the steps to set up conversion tracking so that you can track conversions and conversion value into your Google Ads account. To do this, we'll use Google Tag Manager. By taking the time to set up Google Ads conversion tracking, you will be able to report on the performance of your campaigns. Conversion tracking can also automatically optimize your campaigns if you're using automated bidding or running performance max campaigns in Google Ads. Let's head to our Google Ads account. We start by navigating to Goals and then select Summary under Conversions. And let's click New Conversion Action. Today we're going to set up the dedicated Google Ads conversion tracking, so let's select Website on the left. Now we need to enter our website's domain. And click Scan. If you've already installed the Google Tag or Google Analytics on your website, then you'll see suggestions for how to track conversions. If you do see options automatically listed, then I want you to scroll down and look for the option to create a conversion manually, like we can see here. So I want you to go ahead and click Add a Conversion Action Manually. We can now select a category for the conversion. I'm going to select Purchase for my conversion, but you can select the category that best describes the action you're going to be tracking. Then we enter a conversion name. I'm going to enter Purchase and then Ads in brackets. I like to add the method I'm using for tracking the conversion at the end of the name to make it easy to identify in my Google Ads account. But you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Since we're going to be tracking values for each conversion, let's select Use different values for each conversion. And I'm going to set the default value to 0. This will mean if a value is not set, then the value will be reported as zero in Google Ads. I'm going to leave the rest of the defaults for my conversion. If you'd like to learn more about the different options and cover setup in more detail, I recommend checking out my other resources and Google Ads course. I've included links in the description below this video. Now that we've configured our conversion, let's click Done at the bottom. We can see our conversion, so let's click Save and Continue. We're now given the instructions for tracking the conversion on our website. Since we're going to use Google Tag Manager, let's select the Use Google Tag Manager tab. Now we need to copy the conversion ID and the conversion label. This is below the name of our conversion. Now let's head to Google Tag Manager. And let's navigate to Tags. We can see I've already set up e-commerce tracking for Google Analytics. This is the Google Analytics GA4 e-commerce tag. And let's navigate to Variables. We can see there are a number of e-commerce variables. These variables automatically capture different information from the data layer and make it available to use with our tags. Most importantly, we can see there are variables for e-commerce currency, e-commerce transaction ID, and e-commerce value. We're going to use these with our Google Ads conversion tag. If you haven't set up e-commerce tracking in Google Tag Manager yet, I've included links in the description below this video. The main thing is you will need to ensure you're capturing all of the e-commerce information in the data layer so it's available in Google Tag Manager. So if you need to, you can hit pause on this video, then come back when you're ready. Okay, now let's navigate back to Tags. And let's click New to create a new tag. Let's name the tag Google Ads Conversion Purchase. Now let's select Tag Configuration. Choose Google Ads and then Google Ads Conversion Tracking. Since this is the first Google Ads tag we're creating in this Google Tag Manager container, 
we can see there is an alert saying conversion link attack missing in container. If you already have a conversion linker tag in your container, then you won't see the alert and you won't need to complete these next steps. But since we are seeing the alert, let's click Create. Let's name the tag Google Ads Conversion Linker. And let's remove the All Pages trigger and add the Initialization All Pages trigger. Now let's save the tag. We're now back on the Google Ads conversion tag, so we need to paste the conversion ID we copied from Google Ads. And we need to paste the conversion label. Next we can add the e-commerce value variable for the conversion value. We add the e-commerce transaction ID variable for the transaction ID. And we add the e-commerce currency variable for the currency code. If you're capturing people's email addresses in your data layer, you can use a user provided data variable to pass this information to Google Ads. This allows you to set up enhanced conversions. If you'd like to learn more about enhanced conversions, let me know in the comments below this video. If there's enough interest, I'll add it to my list of requested topics. Now let's scroll down and select Triggering. We can see there is a trigger already configured for e-commerce events, but this will trigger for all of the default events, so viewing items, adding items to the cart, and so on. We just want our tag to fire when a purchase has been made. So let's click the plus sign on the top right corner to create a new trigger. Let's name the trigger Purchase. Now let's select Trigger Configuration and choose Custom Event. For the event name, let's enter Purchase all lowercase. And let's save the trigger. This will mean our Google Ads conversion tag only fires once someone has made a purchase. Now let's save the tag. And let's click Preview. Tag Assistant loads. We enter the URL of our website. And click Connect. Our website loads. And now we can complete a purchase to check that everything is working. Let's view an item. Add the item to our cart. Let's check out. And let's complete the purchase. Now we can open the Tag Assistant tab. And let's select the Purchase event on the left. We can see our Google Ads conversion tag has fired. We can also select the Google Ads tag ID at the top. And this shows us the conversion has been sent to Google Ads. Let's select this. We can see the transaction ID, value and currency code that has been captured and sent to Google Ads. So we know it's working. When you're happy that your conversion tracking is working correctly, you can head back to Google Tag Manager and publish the changes to your live website. Once you've published your container and someone makes a purchase, you'll see the conversion and conversion value appear in your Google Ads account. You can also adjust how they're used for reporting and for automatic optimization of your campaigns by editing the conversion. To learn even more about Google Ads, please take a moment to check out my course and other resources in the description below this video. And to stay up to date with Google Ads, please take a moment to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.